All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to close my Word document. It takes me back to my training documents library. And I'm going to open up this PowerPoint presentation called New Hire Orientation. And once again, I'm going to have to open my PowerPoint. Open this document up in PowerPoint. Once again, it asks me for my credentials. There, and now, as you can see, look at that. It lets me know that Heather Ackman is editing this document. So Heather has obviously opened this document on her computer and is also co-authoring it with me at the same time. Okay, so now I want you to take a look over here and see this little icon down here on slide number two, down in the lower right corner. That lets me know, and I'm going to hover over it, that other offers are currently editing this slide. Now I know Heather's the only other one, and we can see down here it only says two. So Heather must be doing something on that slide. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look. And I don't see any brackets. Remember how when we used this in Word, we saw that solid bracket and had her name. Well, this is the difference. This is why I'm showing you PowerPoint and Word in this lesson, because we're not going to see the brackets around the sections of PowerPoint that she's changing. But this little icon lets me know that there's some kind of change going on here. Well, I want to change this myself. I'm going to change the word session to breakout. Now I want to go ahead and I want to direct your attention down to the bottom here on the status bar. You'll see it says updates available and I get this little tool tip that tells me that this document has been updated by another author. Click save to refresh this document. Now that lets me know that Heather has saved the changes that she made. So if I want to see them, we already know, I have to go ahead and save refresh mine. And once again, I get the same window, choose OK. And well, it looks like Heather and I had the same idea. We didn't like the word session. I changed it to breakout. She changed it to workshop. So we'll need to pick one and uh, decide what it's going to be. I think she's right. I think workshop is a much better term than mine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Whoops, apparently I, there we go. That's a little bit better. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save. So now we're back on my machine, and I have the same message that Bill showed you, updates available. And OK, let's save. I want to see what changes he made. And it says something was changed. I click OK, and I can't really see that anything changed. Well, as you noticed from when you were watching Bill's session, that he actually sort of just accepted the change I made and accepted the word workshop. And so when he saved to refresh and I saved to refresh, I just now see what he kept. So it didn't really show me any changes on my end because, well, he just sort of changed it to what I had. So that was a text level change. We changed text and what the result was, PowerPoint merged the text phrases together. Now I'm going to show you a change that's a little bit different. It's not, I'm not going to be changing an individual bullet point or text. I'm going to be changing an object. So what I'm going to do is just grab hold of this placeholder and resize it. And that's changing the entire object. Now I want to then save my change. And now let's go back over to Bill's machine and see what that looks like. Okay, so we're back at my computer now and I notice, once again, updates are available. Heather has made some changes, and I should save and refresh. But you know what? I'm going to be really cool and say, ah, I don't need to see what she's doing. I'm sure she's doing something I'm not going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and just make some changes on my own, and I'll save it later, and we'll figure it out. You know what? It sounds like a good idea. I want to make this a little bit, I want to move this, make this wider, because I am going to, you know what? I'm even going to sneak this out here a little bit. Ooh, I kind of like that. Why don't we drop this down? See that? See how my diamonds now are cut in half by that line? Pretty snazzy, huh? And I'm going to need a little bit more room over here, so I'm going to make my text box bigger. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save. And, uh-oh, some of my changes conflict with changes made by other authors. Well, let's go ahead and resolve conflicts, because I am all about conflict resolution. It's refreshed my presentation with changes made. Okay, we're going to see okay. And now, 
I get this revisions pane open on the right side. Let's go ahead and let's kind of try and resize this so I can see a little bit more of my screen. In fact, I'm even going to close this up for now. Now I can see a little bit better what's going on. And you'll see I have this little box right here that lets me know that the conflicting changes had to do with size and position by other authors. Well, if I go ahead and click here, it's going to show me what those changes are from the other authors. And this is the change, obviously, that Heather made. And, you know, she is the PowerPoint expert, and uh, it's probably a better choice than the one that I made. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, she's right. Let's go ahead and go with this one. If I wanted this change, all I would need to do is go ahead and save the document, and it will accept this change. If, let's uncheck this, let's say that I decided, no, you know what, I like this choice better. I can go up here, notice our ribbon, we now have an accept button. If I click that, it'll make this change, and when I save, it'll go ahead and make that change to the document everywhere. But like I said, I like this one, and notice if I click, and I'm not going to do this, but because if I click reject, it would get rid of this change that Heather just made, and just leave mine. So I'm going to leave it just like it is. This is what I want. This is a positive check. This is the change we want. I'm going to go to my ribbon here and click on Close Merge View. Click there. That's what we've got. Now when I save, this is the end result of our co-authoring. And that is how you go ahead and co-author with Word and PowerPoint. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Bill. It was wonderful working with you as always. And um, hopefully we can get Heather to come back with us when we go ahead and do co-authoring with Excel. What do you say, Heather? Oh, sure. I'll be right back. All right. Thanks a lot.